Hey, this is Nico, and I wanted to do a walk around and a test drive of a new 2020 Nissan Rogue. Uh, the car that I have here is the Nissan Rogue SL front wheel drive, but mainly I want to show the configuration of the car, just like the, the basic setup, uh, the options that you can get, the comfort, and how it feels on the drive. So, plenty of room in the front. Uh, you can see right now the seat has moved fa fairly uh, uh, far back. You still have a lot of room in the back seat. So there's plenty of room here. Cup holders, armrest. So comfortable for people for sure. Really good car for a small family. Two kids in the back, parents up front. Or you can have five people in the car. Let's check the trunk. privacy cover down here is the actual spare and it's the real spare it's not just a donut tire pressure can be monitored there as well so nice and high taking and that's the basic walk around let's get inside and we'll drive it drive it and we'll talk about what you're getting with the car. Uh, this car was redesigned very recently so this is uh, the latest technology that you can get from Nissan pretty much. Um, you have the electronic shifter, electronic parking brake, auto hold feature which is uh, just allows you to not have to use your brake when you stop in the light. Uh, everything is power adjusted, there's lumbar support, the steering wheel is at, uh, it's manually adjusted as well, but you can play with that. And we're going to take it out, we'll go a few blocks on the streets and then we'll try it on the highway. So one of the biggest things with this car is the engine. It's a three cylinder engine, uh, which means you don't get that much power, but you get an amazing mileage for car this size which is a compact SUV um, it's it's a really good mileage so especially with gas prices and everything right now it's pretty important for most of our clients uh, there's no hybrid version or electric version but again this is a car that you can have a car in stock uh, as equipped this car is $36,000 so this is on the higher end you can see this is leather uh, We'll talk about all the safety features, but um, again, pay attention, see when I drive. I'm going to try to push it here and there, but just so you can see how easy this car, that there's plenty of power to use it in the city traffic, on the freeway, we'll get it up to speed, make sure uh, it feels nice. All right, uh, what else? So before we get on the freeway, this one, uh, starting from SV trim and up, they come with ProPilot Assist. These are the controls here, which means adaptive cruise control with uh, lane holding. So the car steers and uh, follows the car in the front. I have a separate video for that. You can watch the specific demonstration. So we're not gonna talk too much on that. You have different driving modes. So right now it's in comfort, it has sport mode. You can see when you start changing on the driver display. So there's uh, standard, sport, and economy. So we're gonna keep it in standard. And here's the acceleration. So, I brought it up to speed pretty fast, cannot go any faster than this here. And again, judge for yourself. You can hear the, the noise level. You can see how fast it accelerates. And let's do it again. So let's change the lane. Right now I'm going about 40. Give it a push, change the lane again. We're going 60 already. And I'm gonna get safely, I wanna get in front so I can accelerate it again. Okay, 
another push. Okay, so there's traffic, but as you can see, it's pretty easy to get it to 80 and then to slow down. Braking works really well. Um, this car also from SV and up, all these cars have uh, the uh, Shield 360, which is basically all the available safety features, blind spot detection, lane departure monitoring, all the parking aids. Um, I'll see if I can show later, but uh, this one has the surround view. So a lot of things, um, you, if you check my YouTube channel, you know I'm more familiar with BMWs. And uh, things that on BMW you have to either pay a lot of money for, or you cannot even get them. Uh, things like surround view, adaptive cruise control. These things are, especially right now with the cheap shortages, are sometimes just impossible to get. Here you get them on pretty much all cars, all levels, uh, built in, don't need any special, uh, special packages to get it. So, um, let's see, there's a little bit of traffic going on for some reason. Uh, let me see if we can turn around and get a little bit of more faster driving on the way back. Um, about navigation so as you can see this one does not have navigation you have to get either package or level up to get it but all these cars have uh, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto uh, which means that you we just spare your phone and you can get whatever navigation you have in your phone and you pull it on the car and um, as you probably know a lot of people these days actually prefer it to the car navigation because those can be changed, your phone navigation, phone GPS can be changed, um, updated, you can pick which one you want, in some areas you can use Apple Maps, in some areas you use Waze and it works better. So again, pretty easy to get even if it doesn't come with a car. Alright, so we're coming up on the exit and um, we're going to turn around, head back and we're going to try a couple more things. So first I'm going to put it in sport mode just so we can see together what it does to the car. And we'll try adaptive cruise control on the way back as well just so we have some fun and show you. Again, $36,000 car, you see everything that's built in and it'll give you an idea of what you can get with this car. Probably another 30 seconds if you want to forward the video. Okay, so now it has like a nice, nicer feel on the acceleration because we put it in sport mode. Sounds aggressive, and as you can see, it's really aggressive. It picks up really well. If we're not going to make the slide, we can try the camera. Otherwise, we might try it later. I'll just do a sucker. Looks like we're making the light. We're going to test two things. We're going to test the acceleration, get it up to speed to the highway, and then we'll test the adaptive cruise control. Okay, that's 60, 70, that's 80. So, you know, you be the judge, see how well it feels. And now, as I said, let's put it back in regular mode and let's set the cruise control. Okay, so that's it. So cruise control is active. I'm gonna ramp it up to, right now it's 70, let's make it 80. And uh, as you can see, I still need to keep my, okay, so somebody's cutting me off, but you can see exactly what's going on with the car. 
which like I, I don't even feel the car doing anything but it's maintaining the speed and then when there's a car in front of me it just slows down and I have to keep the hands on the steering wheel at least one hand otherwise it'll make a chime and the steering assistance will go off but if I do keep at least one hand firmly uh, it keeps working and uh, just to show you what happens I'm going to turn the signal change the lane the steering is off now it's back on and now it's accelerating smoothly close to the speed that I set but it sees the car in the front and it adjusts the distance very smoothly without jerking the car uh, from my experience it's it's a really competent system. I'm not going to say if it's the best or not the best, but even compared to, let's say, my personal car is a, a BMW X3 with adaptive cruise control, this is a better system. Um, it's smoother. BMW X5 is a better system, so, you know, not as good as, uh, I'm sorry, this one will be not as good as that. I'm not sure how to compare it to Tesla, but this is a competent system. This stands up really well against uh, pretty much anything else on the market. So we're coming up on the exit and again you can see this slows down smoothly to follow the car in the front. And this is just, again, just to summarize it, when you cannot buy pretty much anything, a lot of dealers just have empty lots and you cannot find these SUVs, especially hybrids, you can get this car, this is in stock, you get all the safety features, you get really good mileage 34 on the highway is easy 32 is combined actually it's 36 on the highway and uh, this is the car that you can get now so that's it we're gonna cut it down thanks for watching